hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hey, I'm like, get the building. Oh, I'm here. I'm finally here. <laughs> get the building. Yes, I'm here and I'm ready. <laughs> yes. How are you, darling? I am doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It's Whitney's birthday, so it couldn't be a better day for me. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for letting me come on this live. It's it's a Oh my God. It is my honor. Do you know that the video that I posted with you and your coach, Cheryl Porter, it's almost eight million that views. That is crazy. I cannot believe that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's oh I can't thank you everyone. <laughs> Yes, but it's it's your energy. It's Cheryl Porter's right. energy, and it's your love for Whitney. You guys are having a good time. It's one of Whitney's classics. So actually, I'm really not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's so cool. It is. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, when did you start singing? I mean, I think the earliest video I saw I posted earlier this week when you were ten. But tell us about you know, how you got started singing and how it's led you to some of the awesome things that you are embarking upon. So basically, I am a 12-year-old singer. Um, I sing for Bucks, the Brewers, the <laughs> all those big places. But um, I am known for singing the national anthem. And I started singing when I was I started, I started to like singing when I was two years old, two or three years old, but I started singing publicly when I was six. And the first song that I sang was the national anthem. And my dad, my dad was like, really? I guess I was singing someday, one day in the, in the living room. And I, he was like, oh my gosh, she has that, uh, he didn't know what it was called, but he, he was like, she can <laughs> sing. She literally can sing. So he taught me the national anthem because he is a veteran. So that's how it started and I mean oh wow. have... so he's also a veteran okay that's awesome <laughs> yeah so but I mean people just have been calling and calling and we've been taking the opportunities you know God's blessing us with so many amazing opportunities and letting us meet so many great people along the way and I just I'm so I'm ready I'm just ready for the next step and I'm just you know I'm just waiting <laughs> just keep I'm gonna keep singing I'll be girl you gotta wait you make you you make things happen you make things happen that voice god has got some angel dust and that throat of yours and you got a, a, a wonderful shining spirit as well when did you discover whitney houston um i think when i was about how old was i like six or seven mm -hmm. six or seven i my parents showed me her and i was i just fell in love with her i mean just her smile her spirit her attitude her singing i mean come on now but I mean, just everything about her was just, she's just a beautiful person. And I, she yeah. inspires so many people for sure. Well, I mean, she's inspiring the next generation, which is you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to have Leah Monty fans going, I remember when she started singing at, at six, I saw her singing in that. It's going to be the same thing for you. Yeah. Same thing for you. <laughs> You're going to have your, your fans, you know, the Leah Monty, the team Leah Monty is going to be doing that in the future as well now i saw the way i discovered you there's a lot of people who've been following you for years but i just discovered you this year and it was actually through um that wanye wednesdays <laughs> like you had like you were in um a competition of some kind talk to us about that experience because as i understand it you're going to be opening for boys to men on august the 13th in wisconsin Say what? Yes. what? <laughs> so basically, um, I my parents showed me Wanye Morris. He's from Boys to Men. He is a legend. He is outstanding. But um, my parents showed me his his live, and they were like, "Limani, you should really sing for him." So I sang him a song, and he was like, "Hey, little lady, do you want to sing for? Do you want to be compete in my competition?" And I was like, "Heck yeah!" So I joined. And, I mean, it just went on from there. I mean, I sang in this competition, made it to the next round, sang in the next round, made it to the next round. So it just kept going, but um, it was fun. It definitely an amazing experience that I will probably never have ever again, so. <laughs> but listen, most people can, can, can join a competition and sing, but you got to go to his house or hang out with his family. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so after the competition, 
um, the entire, all the, what, how do you say it? Contestants. contestants, thank you. The contestants came together and we went to Las Vegas to his house just to kind of hang out, record in the studio. And just recently, just recently, I got back from Las Vegas. Um, well, how many nights ago was it? Like Three two nights ago. ago, two nights ago, I got back from Las Vegas. And Look at you jet set. Look at you jet set. <laughs> and, and basically we just recorded, we made some music, we wrote some music. And it's turning out good. I mean, it's good so far. So I'm excited for all of you guys to listen to that. And right now I'm in California um, recording some more music. <laughs> so, I mean, we're just working on many different things. And and we're having fun along, yeah, along the way. So Now, how does school combine with all of this? <laughs> I mean... I don't even, oh my goodness. It, I get very stressed out a lot. So when I have mm -hmm. to do school and singing stuff, it's just crazy. I mean, it's a lot I, of work. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I, I can even imagine you, you're coming back from Vegas and you got a paper due or you got to do some math mm -hmm. homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Still going, are you still going to school? Are you virtually learning or you got a tutor? So basically, I am going to be in person. I, I believe so. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in person. So I'm going to have to deal with it. You know, just I'm just going to have to do one thing at a time and make sure I don't get stressed out. You know, I'm going to try my best, <laughs> but you can do it. You can do it. You are you are you already a winner Aww. right now. You, you are already. A... What are you going to uh, what are you going to uh, sing for us like? I didn't even ask you what, what's, what Whitney's song, because whatever Whitney song you sing, girl, I'm going to love it. The fans going to love okay. it. Okay. So I am going to be singing for all of you guys today because it is Whitney Houston's birthday. So exciting. I am going to be singing I Want to Run to You by Whitney Houston. And actually, I'm going to be putting on a little show for you guys. What? <laughs> so I'm going to sing a couple of songs, but um, I'm ready. I'm so excited. Whitney would be so proud of you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I know that when you look at me, there's so much that you just don't see, buddy. Why won't we take the time? I know in my heart you are. Oh, girl, I'm scared sometimes. Oh, it's a way strong. As you say, the heart in me, I feel so alone. I want But if I come to you, tell me who will stay, or will you run away? Run away! Oh, I need you here. I need you here to wipe away my tears To kiss away my fears No, oh, oh, if you love me now How much I want to run to you But if I come to you Tell me who will you say Girl, you better sing that song. Yeah, you you, you better it. sing that song. Too loud. Was the background music too loud? That was amazing. No, it wasn't. I think the um the um. It broke up a little bit somewhere, but hopefully when I when I okay. publish it, mm -hmm. it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, mm -hmm. girl, I all they, they giving you so much love in the comments. Thank beautiful, you. beautiful, beautiful. Thank, beautiful. You. Thank you for having me, you guys. This is truly amazing. And 
hopefully it's a yearly thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, yes! this is fun. This is yes! fun. I like I mean, it. <laughs> let, let, let. The Leah Molly Day, along with Whitney Houston, that's <laughs> yes. Because I mean, obviously you being a, a, a big star, so it's a it's a great honor. Mm -hmm. You know, just the fact that you know who Whitney Houston is, you can sing her mm -hmm. song so beautifully, you know, and, and you have your own style. Like you're not yeah. trying to be her, you're you. Okay. When you have to practice, like what do you do to get better? Yeah, you, you've worked with Cheryl, like how do you stay as good as you are and get better i mean i i'm really not sure i just practice a lot i mean i do my vocal warm-ups and i take care of my voice you know that's definitely a huge thing that you have to do as a singer and it is hard it does get hard at times because you know i'm a kid so sometimes i like to yeah. play with my siblings and yell and <laughs> you know but i mean i have to stop myself and say you're a singer you have to be responsible for what you do, what you love doing, you know? So it, it does get hard, but I mean, I just stick with it and I just keep singing for people, you know? <laughs> yes. What's been the best moment thus far for you in this singing journey? I have a couple. Um, let me, let me really think. This won't take long, but if I had to choose, I think it's just like listening back to my my videos and just, cause you know, when I'm singing, I don't really look at all, everything cause I'm, you know, focusing on what I'm doing. But when I look back at videos and stuff, I really like look at it and I'm like, wow, it's just all the people cheering. Like people love me and I love them. Like, it's just crazy that I have fans, you know? I, I mean, as a 12 year old, it's crazy. But I just love making people happy, you know? Just taking it all mm -hmm. in and making people happy. Mm -hmm. And I love what you said about listening to yourself back because like two of the greats love to hear themselves back. And that was Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston. They they listen to themselves back and they know when they got, they like, yeah, I like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just hearing you say that, girl, you on your way. Mm, thank you so much. What do you see? For, what it? Yes. Mean? What do you see for yourself? What is it? What is, what is it that you want to accomplish in this industry? Um, I just I want to make music for many different ages to listen to, like music that stays alive, like Whitney Houston. Like she may be gone, but she's never forgotten. I mean, she's gonna stay up there forever. She's a legend, and she has music that still touches people even many years later you know what i'm saying so i it's timeless so i want to create music that is like whitney houston's you know powerful very touching just like that and i want to win some grammys hopefully before I'm, i want to go to the grammys before i'm 15 i have a lot of goals i mean <laughs> and y'all are all coming with me <laughs> Come on down. I'm, I'm gonna be in. The, I'm being an audience with my lighter. Exactly. Go Leah exactly. Money. Go Leah. <laughs> yep. But yeah. <laughs> who is? Who are some um, collaborations that you would love? Like, what's? Who's on your collaboration list? Like, who would you love to sing with? Um, I would like to sing with. So my top person is going to be Bruno Mars. He is just. Yes. It's very weird that I say Bruno Mars. Oh, I can I can see y'all doing. Oh, I can see y'all. I mean, I just single together. Choreography and making a song together. You know, it's just it's in my head. I know I picture. You know, I know what's going on in my head. But um, Taylor Swift, Bruno Mars, Zayn Aguilera, um, Beyonce, all those people. Hopefully someday we'll be able to do that. And Jesse J. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, wait a second, oh. ma'am. You already sang on Instagram with Jesse. I saw that. I said, no, she didn't sing with Jesse J. So, I'm sorry, I didn't say this. I also want to do a collab with Boyz II Men with Wanye Morris. <laughs> he's, at, he's up there, too. I mean, you also want to do 
What? Yes, we. I, oh my gosh, it's it's all coming. It's coming. <laughs> so just stay tuned. And also Mariah Carey. Oh yeah, it's definitely coming. <laughs> but yeah, I got a lot of people. Come on now. Yes, I see it, girl. I see it. I just I just wanted to be out there so we can we can pull up this video and say it. she called it. <laughs> She called it April 9, 2021. Mm -hmm. She said all these people, and now look at her. She had the number one record with so-and-so. Yes. So I don't know if you guys want me to sing another song. You guys want me, you want me to? Of course we do. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, I, look, I didn't tell the people two songs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this next song I'm going to be singing is going to be I Want to Dance with Somebody. Uh, cause, because, I mean, come on now, you cannot miss that song. So I'm going to be singing that song, just because yes. it's fun. Uh, come on, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Clap your hands. <laughs> Behind the screen, I know you can sing. Come on now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I want to dance. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. I don't know right up to now. It's the light of day that shows me how. And when the night falls, my loneliness calls. Woo! I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat. With somebody who loves me. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So she much. just sang. She just sang a slow song <laughs> and a fast song in celebration of Whitney, Whitney Houston. Houston's <laughs> birthday. Man. I am so happy Whitney Houston exists to influence the next generation like you. Like, yes. Thank you to your parents for allowing you to come and sing and chat. Tell us about you. I'm so, I'm so thrilled about your future. Oh, it's so bright. Too. Thank you so much for letting me do this. I mean, it's an honor to celebrate Whitney Houston, such a beautiful person, because she deserves it. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she definitely, definitely does. And so where can we check you out? Where can we see you? Where can we get your music? Where can we, if we just need an overdose of Liam Monty, <laughs> Okay. where can we get it? So, Tell us how we can get you daily. Yes. Okay. So if you enjoyed this today, um, you can go to my page, Liam Monty Sings, L-I-A-M-A-N-I. And then sings and i mean I, I post all kinds of videos on there i mean duets covers all that good stuff so um and if you if you follow me i would be very i would appreciate it very much we call it team limani so basically all of us all of my team all my fans all the we come together as a family and we just we call ourselves team limani and we work together and yeah. we get through everything together so I love it. And you're on Instagram too, yes. right? On Everywhere it's really on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And Twitter. <laughs> All on there. <laughs> nice. Yes. How you done went from Instagram to opening for boys to men? Like that is an amazing feat. I mean, it's just it's all God. It's all God. I'm just I'm gonna leave it there. It's all God. God is making warms everything my heart. happen my heart. for a reason. Yes. Warms my heart to hear you say mm -hmm. that because Yes, girl. God is making it happen, but you working with him. You co-creating with yes. him. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's I, right. I love it. Well, before I let you go, can you give um some love to Whitney to the universe? Okay. What would you love to say to Whitney to the universe? 
I just want to say thank you for inspiring so many people at different ages, including me, Liamani. Um, I'm just so thankful for you, the amazing music you put out there. And happy birthday, Whitney Houston! <laughs> thank you so much, Liamani. I, I appreciate you blessing us with a song. Yes, of course. Too. Um, okay, so in honor of Whitney Houston, would you like me to sing happy birthday to her? Here, yes. All right, let me drink some water. <laughs> Please. All right, here we go. Oil them pipes. Okay. Whitney, this is yeah. for you. Happy birthday, right, Whitney. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Whitney Houston. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Beautiful, thank you. beautiful. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You. This has been such a joy and honor. I wish you so much you love, too, you success, too. joy, and um, just keep keep shining, girlfriend. Thank you. I definitely will. <laughs> yes, and thank you to your parents for allowing you to um, speak with us today. I really appreciate oh, it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you. Cynthia. All right. <laughs> All right. See you guys. You guys been blessed today. All right. Studio Q Show. Now you know.